This is our 70 pound Labrador Retriever named Lucy and this is my new Ford F-150 crew cab. I wanted to be able to protect the back seats and door panels and so I purchased the Rough Liner which is designed to protect all of the rear part of the cab. Problem is when Lucy wants to stick her head out the window while I'm driving the Velcro is not strong enough to hold the door side panel on and so you can see as she's jumping up on the door her paws and her weight pull the rough liner off. So I needed to figure out a solution to this problem because the Velcro that holds it on is simply okay, so not strong. The problem is that when the dog jumps up onto the window to stick her head out the window, she tugs on this thing and ultimately the Velcro separates. And so what we're gonna do is reinforce it up here. So the total space that I need to cover between the lock button and the edge of the door is 22 and a half inches. And these are too long for that. So what I need to do is cut them down so they'll total out to 22 and a half inches. So each one of these needs to be seven and a half inches for my truck. So I'm gonna cut them down to seven and a half inches. So I'm marking where seven and a half inches is and that's where I'm gonna begin my cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut this one down at seven and a half inches, which is right there. using a hacksaw. So now that these are cut down each to seven and a half inches, they should fit perfectly to cover the entire width of the door between the edge and the lock. So now that I've cut these down each to seven and a half inches, I want to mark where I'm going to put the um, rivets that I'm going to put through here. They're actually called Chicago screws and they're going to secure it. So we're going to drill a hole first in the center, which is three and three quarter inches on my seven and a half inch. Okay, so that's number one, and then we're going to do one at the two inch mark. Well, we'll do it at one and a half. And then I'm going to do one at six inches here. And we'll do that to all three of them. Pieces of plastic have holes in them, three holes in each. And now for each of these holes, I've, I've picked out these, what are called Chicago screws. I'm not sure exactly which length I'll use yet, but I wanna make sure that they're gonna work. Looks like my, yep, you see that? So each one of these will have a Chicago th screw through it. And then we'll attach those to the uh, side of the protector. So what I'm doing is placing the Chicago screw bolts into each of these.
I may end up using shorter screws, but for now I'm putting them in here so that I can use them to help me mark. So we're gonna pull this up, back up. And what this is gonna allow me to do is feel where they are, and then I'm gonna put a mark with Sharpie so that I can put a rivet at each one of those. And I wanna do it on the inside edge of the stitching of the Velcro. There's a stitch here I can see. So now we're, um, we're gonna install grommets at each one of these spots where we marked the point. So I'm using a grommet tool and I'm gonna cut a hole. For each one of these. And I'm gonna install a grommet. So you have to get a grommet kit. I got this off of Amazon. I put the grommet into the tool. There's two pieces to the grommet. Okay, move it in. So there's a grommet installed. Yay! And that's pretty solid, and that'll keep it from tearing when the dog pulls on it. And then each one of these will be attached here through. So I'll show you that when we get to the end. I'm gonna just go ahead and install grommets at each one of the points that I that I set up to put a hole in it. So now we have grommets for each one of these, and I'm just going to use the Chicago screws to attach the plastic pieces to the material through the grommets. So these are Chicago screws that I got from uh, Amazon, and I'm gonna try to use the shortest length I need. And there's two pieces to these. There's a... There's a male and female end, and I'm hoping that this one will be enough. I think I'm gonna need a little thicker one than that. So I'm gonna match up my holes. Got my holes all matched. And I think I'll go for a little bit longer one. So I'm gonna press the Chicago screw through the hole, through the grommet, and then at the other end, I'm going to screw it in. Nice thing about these is it's different from rivets is that you can just use tools that you have. And I'll do a screwdriver on the other side too. Oh, actually, these are flat on the other side. So they just screw in like that. That's it. And if I do. So I'm going to do. Uh, Chicago screws on every one of the holes. So we'll be back in a minute to show you that. So now what I've discovered is that um, 
when I'm tightening the Chicago screws, because there's no way to hold the, the, the head on the other side, I'm gonna put uh, electrical tape here, and that will do two things. One, it's gonna hold the heads while I turn the screw on the other side. Um, and then also, uh, it's going to pr protect the um, edge of my door frame from having these metal heads pushing down on them. So I already did that on this one. I just put electrical tape along the back side and then I pressed it down really nicely. So then when I turn the screw here, um, it's held and I can get it nice and snug. So now I've got all of the Chicago screws in tight. Um, and on the back side, I have electrical tape. Oh, there's the dog. And the advantage now is that when I want to wash this cover, I can just take these screws out. And uh, because there's electrical tape holding the other end in, they won't get lost. And we'll be good to go. And then this should be nice and secure on the truck. Okay, now we're completely reinstalled back into the truck. You can see our work here. And ultimately, the dog could pull on this all day long and is not going to separate. And so this has solved our problem. You can see she's now standing on various parts at the edge and nothing is coming apart.